Hey guys, how you going? Coming at you from down in the uh, print shop today. So uh, we've got a little bit of content, try and bring you something out. We've uh, missed the video last week, did all the floods and we've been smashed and we're playing a bit of catch up, hence being in the print shop. Uh, we're in here late uh, last night, getting some stuff out. But um, well, I'm gonna try and get out and have a look at the cars today, see what we can do and uh, try and bring a little bit of content to the channel for you guys. Um, reason I'm in the print shop is uh, I've got a little package here that was sent to us a while ago and uh, might be a good opportunity to, to get that out and see what we've got and uh, whether we could put it to use and uh, do a little bit of a comparison. So we've got some uh, some lights from a company called uh, Osbeam and um, they, uh, they've they been talking to us for a while and uh, and I said, well, look, I'll, I'll see how they stack up. I've got, uh, you know, what's probably one of the most uh, popular brands on the, on the uh, Prado at the moment in... Um, uh, some Adventure Kings uh, gear. Um, it's certainly one of the most popular. You see it everywhere on all, all the gear out there. But uh, I said I'll stack it up against that. We'll, uh, we'll rip them off. We'll put yours on. We'll see how they go. Uh, and they sent us a few other bits and pieces, some goodies. I'll give you a look at all this in a minute. And uh, um, we'll, we'll see what we can do with it. The plan was to sort of put it all onto the Prado. But uh, I think some of this could be of use for the F truck now as well. So. Let's, um, we'll give the spotties a bit of a test. We'll have a bit of a muck around, but let's have a quick look. All right, see what we got here. A few boxes. Uh, box number one. Osbeam. There you go. Um, got some more stashed away down here. That one, sort of, that one might give it away, what, what they've sent us on that one. And oh, here's another one weight in it actually and oh, oh my gosh and this one this one here is very heavy nine inch high in intensity off-road fog lights <laughs> from Oz Beam so have a look at what we've got in here it looks like switch which connectors, the relay, looks like full wiring kit. Looks like it does come with a full wiring kit as well. Oh my gosh, these are, these are huge. These are heavy too. Some weight in them. Very solid. From Osbeam. So check them out. Check them out. They were uh, kind enough to give us these as a test and uh, they wanted us to, to see what we could do with them. So, I well, we could turn them on. We can put them on a four wheel drive and turn them on. <laughs> That's what we'll do. This is what we've got at the moment, and uh, we'll give you a quick look at what we have at the moment on there, and we'll do a comparison. Well, these these are going to be way brighter already. I can, they're huge. Yeah, guys, we uh, unfortunately got to film out here outside the shed because my shed's not big enough to get in there to work on it. Uh, it's also 30 stupid something degrees uh, and humid because we've had floods and uh, everything's so wet here. Um, yeah, it, 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 the ground's soggy. Uh, I've got a carport that we can get in under the shade out of. It's full of water. <laughs> everything still just hasn't dried out. It's been a few days since the rain now, but it's still so wet and uh, nothing's dried out. I actually, we, we had enough of a sort of dry patch that I did mow the lawn and it's like two days and it's up to me ankles again so um yeah and now the ground's just too soggy at the moment we did get the mower bogged and all sorts of stuff so there's a few patches where we could mow but there's a heap of it i can't even mow it it's just how wet it is after the floods so uh we're going to work in, out in the sun uh in this 30 stupid something humid degrees so that may cause me to swear and carry on but it's not much to do we're just swapping some lights out so we'll uh, try and just knock it over get it done and have a look here we go, there's the uh, current 7 inch 
King's lights that we've got on there at the moment. On the cobwebs, gee. We did drive it last night. It don't take long. So we'll, uh, yeah. We're gonna have to probably move this bracket because that's not gonna fit with the bigger lights. Uh, now the cobweb's stuck to me. But uh, yeah, let's, let's have a muck around with that. The lights that we're pulling off the Prado are a pair of King's Dominator Extreme 7 inch LED driving lights. They put out one lux, one kilometer, 13,000 lumens, uh, and they cost $90 from Four Wheel Drive Supercenter. On the other hand, we've got the Aux Beam 9 inch spotlights that put out a combined 37,000 lumens. I can't find any lux stats, but I believe it's also one lux at one kilometer. And these ones cost $330. So how will they stack up against the cheap product of Adventure Kings? Stay tuned, find out. King's lights have a like an, a, a long piece that come out of them and it connects down here further. We need those wires to now come right up to the back of the lights. They plug those doors connectors plug straight into the back. I actually do have a heap of length left there, so it's good. Open up some more zip ties. Does also come with uh, the rubber mount. Comes with good bolts and nylock, nylock bolt, uh, nylock nuts. The King's kit did not have nylock nuts for spring washers. Walksbeam is a US brand. They were founded in 2008. They have warehouses located in California in Kentucky and the factory is in China. They strive to offer excellent quality products in an affordable price range with multifunctional purpose and creative design. So far for us dealing with them has been great. They were awesome in terms of service. And of course they have sent out these products to us, but we won't let that bias our comparison. Build quality um, is exceptional on these things. These are so much more solid and actually not as deep as well. So, so uh, oh, no, they're about the same. This probably doesn't look as deep because it's so much bigger. Um, you can you can see the comparison there in the size. Way way different. So seven seven inch to the nine inch. That she said uh, she said it did make a big difference those extra couple of inches don't believe them that they are, they say it doesn't matter size matters but um we'll see what these uh crank out like at uh, in the dark I nearly forgot the zip ties zip it back up Why you look 
We found in the testing that the light from the aux beam lights was more directional, uh, had a nice spread of light. The distance was about the same, it wasn't really noticeable that 200 meter difference in the locks and just having that extra brightness was pretty awesome. Guys, that is a Osbeam or Oxbeam 9 inch high intensity off-road fog light uh, that we've just put on there. Now, we've taken off a set of 7 inch Dominator Extreme Kings lights which are fairly cheap. You pick them up for I think about 100 bucks, maybe just under $100 from those guys. Difference is the 7 inch ones were 1 lux at 1100 uh, 1100 meters these are one lux at 918 meters uh, but also they the old ones were 13,000 lumens these are nearly 19,000 lumens the old ones were very good lights um, we, they, were, they were extremely bright and uh, if you turn them on anywhere near where big street signs uh, they would blind you the reflectiveness of those signs you'd sometimes have to turn them down but we'll see this could be could be way worse I don't know at 300 meters, they're somewhere around uh, 300 meters, puts them at 25 lux. So one lux at, at, at a kilometer. So these ones are the biggest ones that they do in, in that nine inch range. These are really up there. Uh, and they are uh, 329, so a pair. So they are about three times the price of the Kings. They look three times the price too. So just looking at them, they do, they do look three times better. Uh, they do have a cheaper set in the 9 inch at 165 uh, and they're 150 watts so wattage on these ones was 270 so a big difference so uh, and if we compared apples for apples we'd have to go to a 7 inch 7 inch set of lights equivalent to what the, the ones we had there before from Venture Kings is 139. 139 but they come with a dual control switch. We bought those lights but then had to pay for the uh, there was like a, a smart wiring kit or something which was about 30 bucks from memory. We've had them on for a while. Uh, the wiring kit from Kings was great, it was really easy to hook up. But looking at the kit that comes in these ones, it's pretty much exactly the same. But yeah, I don't see any real difference there. I'll have a look. I'll see if these guys gave us a discount uh, code that you might be able to use. And uh, we'll put that up there for you. Uh, get on and have a look. I think the, the other bits and pieces that we'll show you in other videos like the, the the six gang board are definitely, yeah, pretty helpful for everybody. They do a lot of other different bits and pieces or interior bits, um, mounts, handles, cargo stuff for different cars, console organizers, um, all different storage stuff. So there's a lot of weird and wonderful different bits and pieces that they do um, just outside of the lights. Um, we'll have a quick look at the switch panels, the 800 multifunction with, uh, with Bluetooth. So you can get one that's actually Bluetooth controlled. You can operate everything off your phone as well. Uh, that's on your switch panel, which is super cool. Uh, they're 269. And just your on-off one, six gang like this one, currently 145. Yeah, so that will give you a bit of an idea of uh, costing of what it is. And you can set that up to run uh, everything from, you know, maybe you needed it for different fuel pump, uh, ignition and uh, etc. We might, um, be able to use it even in the uh, Gemini at the moment we've got switches for fuel pumps and, and bits and pieces we could use that uh, instead but wait and see we might go a bit bigger than that and uh, use something a bit more all in. If you want to grab yourself some merch head over to overtakinglane.com.au support the show there's heaps of different styles of shirts over there if you want to get something custom made with your car on it we can do that for you too just head over and send us a message on Facebook at Right Lane Print and Media and we'll hook you up Hit the thumbs up if you like the content. It'd be great if you could help us out just with a, with a thumbs up and a like occasionally. Maybe leave a comment. It helps those algorithms for us and uh, helps boost the channel. Uh, do your bit to do that for us and we'll keep bringing you content. Uh, in the meantime, maybe become a member. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, so... There you go, that's the uh, 9 inch high intensive. Sorry. Okay, guys. Oh, that was terrible.